Enter the wolf time. Hello everybody and welcome to the wolf time once again. I'm going to start this episode by saying sorry I've not posted a video in like five days. The reason for that is I had a massive five day wank. Well, not really. I had other stuff to do. I had like friends and stuff to see. So anyway, this is my this is this is a this is a fresh episode, okay. Today what we're gonna be looking at, we're gonna be looking at Sky Claws, which is the next in the section of the fast attack uh, bit of the codex. Now, Sky Claws are essentially just blood claws with jump packs, which confers them a twelve inch movement. So they can be quite nasty. Uh, we talked about in the Blood Claw and Grey Hunters video how many attacks these guys get. So if you think about how many attacks these guys get, combined with the 12-inch movement, they can be quite deadly. Especially when they're led by this guy here. I showed you this guy in one of my very, very first videos. This is one of my Wolf Priests with Jump Pack. Uh, he obviously is a Wolf Priest, so he gives them the ability to re-roll all their fail-to-hit rolls, which is really, really quite good. Especially when you think of how many attacks they're outputting combined with how many attacks they're probably going to miss. It's a very, very good thing to have. Now, on with my actual Sky Claws. I wanted to give these guys a sense that they were proper, like, about to jump off or about to touch down. But I also thought, why would they have, you know, no helmets on? So I was like, I was thinking... You'd have a helmet on if you're in a jump pack. Number one, to protect your head in case you fell on it. You know, if, if your jump pack went mental and tried to, you know, go AWOL or something. So, I decided to give some of these guys helmets and some of them without. So, we've got a helmeted guy there. I also tried to give them um, some little uh, markings on the actual helmet and stuff. I'm not a fan of this guy because this is the first attempt I did the markings. It actually looks like he's got lipstick on, which doesn't look too good. What we'll do, we'll just turn him around because he's a bit of an embarrassment, really. Okay, what else do we have here? We've got some of these guys like this. Now, what I've done, because I thought, why wouldn't they have a helmet? I've actually got the guy, I've also included the helmet attached to their belt, which I've actually not seen done at all on any other jump pack or assault marine models. What I did, just clip the ball joint off and literally just poly cemented it in place, and that's it really. Um, with the sky claws, what I did, because they're supposed to be blood claws, I kind of painted their eyes yellow. Oh, whoa, too fuzzy. Let me just refocus that. Let me just zoom in a bit slower. There we go. We've got yellow eyes on these guys, which I thought was quite cool. And I thought I did quite a good job at actually getting the eyes yellow. Some of them just ended up horrendous. Uh, let's see this guy. This guy's one of my favourite. This guy is my uh, He-Man Skyclaw. He's like, I have the power! He's got the uh, Prince Adam head, as you can see there, with his little tiara. God damn it! Camera keeps stop going fuzzy. Okay, he's actually not too finished. I need to finish his uh, power sword. Uh, there's some other pretty cool guys like these guys at the back here, which I'm now going to bring to the front. These guys, I decided to give them a little bit more on their bases to make them look a bit high, just to elevate them from uh, the, the other ones, so they actually look like they're all jumping at different times and stuff. There's this guy here. I kind of like this guy, although I really dislike this guy's hairstyle. Don't know what's going on there. What were the people that sculpted these guys thinking when they decided to give a haircut like that? It's just absolutely balls. But yeah, this guy's kind of like jumping off a rock, jumping to the side, like shooting with his bolt pistol. Like, yeah, this is how we're doing in my neighbourhood. I said that quite a lot on these videos. Okay, the next guy. Here he is. He's kind of jumping on a dead Thousand Suns Marine. Well, Thousand Suns Chaos Space Marine. There he is. He's dead. Look at you. You got no flesh on your bones, you just skeleton. Ha! <laughs> right, there we go. On a lot of them as well, I've, well, on the ones that I could do with the remaining bits, I tried to give this little blood claw symbol here, which is quite good with a little red zigzag going through it. Again, and then there's this guy, this guy I quite like as well because he looks like he's just about to touch down or looks like he's just jumped off, which looks quite cool. Plus, I do quite like that haircut as well on him. Okay, now, I have some other models that I'm going to show in this episode. Um, they're not essentially Skyclaw models, but I think that I could probably get away with using them. Uh, so yeah, without further ado, here they are. These guys are the 13th Company Wolfen models. They're quite hard to get your hands on them. Uh, I got these off one of my mates, uh, Chris. Uh, I got them on a bargain, really. I think I paid 15 quid for a set of uh, 20, uh, 10 of them. 
so I got quite a good bargain. I think these guys go now for about a fiver each on uh, eBay and stuff. So they're, they're, they're quite expensive if you want to buy them. Now, I didn't know where else I'd get a chance to show these guys off to you, so I thought I'd do. Right, bear in mind, these guys aren't finished painting. I've not finished painting these guys yet, but these guys are supposed to be Wolfen. But I thought, you know, with the, the, the frenziedness of the Wolfen, uh, that would. Uh, you'd be able to say, yeah, they've got a 12 inch movement, because they're absolutely pegging it towards something, like, about to, like, rip somebody's throat out. Uh, the poses on them, you think you get, like, you get, like, four or five. Yeah, you get, like, four different poses or something. So I had to try and vary the colour schemes. I've got some Wolfen which are quite grey. Whoop, fuzzy camera again. I've got some Wolfen which are quite grey like this guy. And then I've got some Wolfen which are quite brown like this guy. I think I prefer the brown ones a little bit better because they look a bit more furry but the grey ones are just as nice as well. Some of the poses are, re are really quite good. Like you got this guy here who's like, he's like, you know, like, ah, I'm gonna blast you in the face with my bolt pistol. You've got another guy here which is holding like some kind of like demon head or something. I don't quite know what kind of head that is. Could be a demon head, could be an alien head. But I'm guessing because these guys have been in the Eye of Terror for quite a while, it's probably a demon head. You've got guys that are like this, which is running at you with the claws. They're just pegging out, you're like, ah, I'm gonna fuck you up! Uh, yeah, that guy looks quite cool. Uh, and then you've got like, just guys like a chainsaw here. The 13th company though, a lot of their gear is like salvaged from chaos bits and things. Uh, and a lot of their gear doesn't work like the chainsaw, like you've got like the little teeth attached to it here, like wolf teeth. Obviously that's not going to actually work, it's just more of like a, a cleaver that's going to be hitting you with it. Uh, I tried to sculpt some little bits of fur and stuff on the backs of the hands just to cover up a little bit and just to make the models look a little bit more different. And I've also sort of included the new Space Wolf backpacks, again just to add a bit of variation to them. These guys aren't finished yet, I've got some uh, gold bits to do on like the uh, Space Wolf Aquila here and then all the little trinkets and little other little bits of wolf pelt and wolf teeth and little scabbards and things that are dangling off them. Um, yeah, very happy that I've got these guys. They're going to look absolutely mint when they're fully painted. Uh, what I'm actually going to take to talk about now is a tactic that I like to use with Sky Claws. Now, I found this quite effective. If you've got like a unit of ten Sky Claws uh, with a Wolf Priest, what I like to do is I like to run two Land Raiders full of Grey Hunters. So you've got two Land Raiders rolling up like that. My hands will be proxied as, as uh, Rhinos. They're rolling up. They're all up to the enemy. And what you have behind them, so the rhinos are shielding them, you have the sky claws behind. So the rhinos roll up, the rhinos turn on their sides. Uh oh. Fatality. Let's put that guy over there. So the rhinos scroll to the sides. Then what you do, the grey hunters disembark, shoot the crap out of whatever's in front of you. Then what happens is that the sky claws jump over the rhinos, land behind them shoot the crap out of whatever's there, and then, like, the enemy is sandwiched in between two really hard-hitting close combat units. You've got a group of ten Sky Claws, led by a Wolf Priest with Jump Pack as well. Uh, obviously, you're going to be re-rolling your attacks there. And then you've got a unit of Grey Hunters there, which, well, you've got two units of Grey Hunters, you've got 20 Grey Hunters, essentially, on this side, and they just go BANG, and they just cause a fucking mess of whatever they attack. I mean, I've seen that tactic take down some really, really big opponents like like trigons and stuff uh, it's just a really really nice little cheesy tactic to use but yeah um a bit of a brew yeah that's it for the sky claws video sorry that it's a bit late thank you guys for watching stay tuned see you now bye bye